How many of you out there have uh, Airy cameras? Do you, have you shot with Aries over the years? Film, digital, anything? Well, I, I got to say that you know I, I've shot with Aries. I think um, for at least 25 years or something like that. And you know the the dependability and the quality of the image and all those things have been something which, regardless of all the other cameras that we use. Uh, you know, you're always looking for that right balance of quality, dependability. It doesn't matter how good your image is if the camera doesn't work, right? So, um, anyway, we've worked, uh, I've, I've gone through the various phases of digital cinematography with Ari. Uh, any, any of you remember the D20 or the D21? All right, well, you know, this is, the Alexa now is uh, the outgrowth of all that R&D. And one of the reasons why we like to use it on all of our shows, and we, we do uh, probably about 20 to 24 television shows simultaneously at Stargate. So we get a lot of data. We get every camera in the market. And uh, consecutively we come back to the Alexa footage because it is, it's so robust and so rounded that it keys well. Um, and we can do a lot of things with it. So we can match up other footage to it, we can match CG to it. Um, I think that's, that's why it has been so successful in television production. So uh, what I'm gonna show you is kind of a cross cut of a lot of our work. And uh, really it's, a, it's a, always a combination of taking sometimes anywhere from two elements to you know, 50 elements and blending them together so it looks real. And doing it in such a way that it's extremely fast uh, because you know, the workflow of the Alexa is magic. You know, the, the ProRes, you can drop it in, you can play it on anything, you can see it right away. It's not too heavy a data, it just hits that mark where it's the right balance and it's a beautiful image. And by the way, actresses love it because the flesh tones are flawless. They're really good. And at the end of the day, if an actress says she doesn't like your camera, you get a different camera. <laughs> you know? So I think really actresses are probably the, the reason why the Alexa is so successful. But, but, but anyway, let me show you some stuff. And then we'll do some uh, Q&A and I can, you can ask me about uh, how and why and, and those kind of things. So let's uh, roll the video. And um, so this is uh, Pan Am. Uh, which was shot with uh, three Alexas, four Alexas, um, and we did all real-time compositing on set. So, because the uh, signal's so clean, we can see it. You know, uh, we do a lot of driving plates. We do a lot of, uh, you know, matchups here. This is the foreground Alexa, and the background is Alexa, stitched together for in Paris with a multi-panel. Um, This is a show Missing, which they went all over Eastern Europe, so the background. And now this is blending, uh, this is for um, Revenge. Uh, and this is all, what I like about this, we lit it really hot to get that daylight look, but it's all done on set. So it's very difficult to light daylight on set, and using the dynamic range of the Alexa, we can get there. This is a uh, German production last winter. They used the Alexis. This is another German film. Um, this is Episodes, uh, which was shot in London for the tax credits, but we had to make it look like LA. So. This is Doctor Who that we're currently doing, uh, shooting on Alexa. It's a great show, very historical show. Um, this is House of Lies which uh, has been very successful at um, blended stuff. This is a, a whole virtual show, Beauty and the Beast. All virtual sets, all 3D architecture. Uh, shot with the Lexus again. This is how you do a, uh, a creature uh, coming up right here. It's very embarrassing for the horse, but it works. Right? 
we do a lot of dust and dirt on in screen uh, because of the uh, the dynamic range. Can you can hold it? You can key smoke. You can put filters on the lens. Stuff too uh, works great with the Alexa. This is touch, which. Um, you know, again, you have the, like these dirty green screens once in a while, and the more bandwidth you've got in the original signal, the more you can pull it out. See the dust on the screen and the dust holes in the key, which is very important. This is uh, how you do Grand Central Station in Los Angeles. Again, you know, the daylight lighting, because of the dynamic range, we can hit a, uh, a tremendous uh, range, which you can dial in daylight in post. Uh, this is the last season of private practice, the last shot of private practice, and uh, and that's it. Um, but the, uh, the, hey, let me think. Mark, Mark Shipman Mueller over here was my first AC, I think, uh, 20 years ago, something like that. And, and Mark has been one of the reasons, after lifting the cameras that Aerie made, that they're getting smaller and smaller. Because if you talk to any AC, they want it smaller and lighter, which, like the Alexa M, is, is getting uh, really small. So, uh, you know, it's size. They have, the nice thing about Aerie is they've developed a... Uh, a full range of these cameras with anything from a spinning mirror, a studio model, uh, to something that you can put into a 3D rig or whatever. But at the end of the day, you still get the Alexa quality and the Aerie quality, which uh, if there's anybody who's been pursuing image quality here for a number of years, Aerie's been doing.